Are you a diabetic who's dependent on insulin? Are you a diabetic who's dependent on pills? And you can actually just go right down to the bottom button here on the side of the screen and click on that. If you're logged into your YouTube account, you can subscribe there. And every time I put up a new video, you'll have an email that comes to you that says new video from Dr. Herman is online. They're called hematopoietic stem cells. Hematopoietic stem cells are the cells that make your red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. I found scabies infection in there. The stem cells, what happens when the blood is made in, in a factory that's infected? What do you think the blood is going to be healthy or not so healthy? Probably not so healthy. What do you think is going to happen? Will the blood carry infection to the body parts like your pancreas, like your beta cells? Yes. So we've got to clean that up so the factory is not sending out, producing or sending out, you know, damaged cells or infected cells. The vagus nerve that goes to the liver, the vagus nerve scabies infection. How can the liver function normal when the, liver, when the vagus nerve is uh, infected? It can't work normal. So we don't want the liver to keep dumping uh, the blood sugar storage that the insulin is supposed to store that sugar into the liver. We want the liver to release it when it's called on, not when it's just being agitated and it just keeps releasing that sugar into the, uh, into the bloodstream. The liver also had uh, mold in it. It also had uh, called wrinkle, R-N-K-L-B, as in boy. It also had mycoplasma bacteria. He had parasitic flukes in his liver, even though he tried fluke, some herbal kind of fluke uh, uh, strategy in the past. I found in his beta cells, he had organochlorine pesticides. That protocol lasted him for two and a half months. That protocol, when he came back again, again, let's look at this a blood lab, 11.981C in June of 2016 to 8.2 June of 2000 for the beta cells and amongst other cells in the islet cells of the pancreas. He had scabies infection, just a bit of it. Uh, brain had candida. His brain had salmonella uh, bacteria. The vagus nerve had scabies. The last exam I told you the vagus nerve had scabies. It, I found in that same tissue that I talked about in the beginning that controls the beta cells, I found nickel metal. I found mercury. I found uh, antibiotic residues, I found scabies infection, I found a bacteria called treponema in there, I found candida tropicalis, and I found a bacteria called gonorrhea.